How's everybody doing tonight? Not as good as you. How are you doing, sir? Very good. Having a good day. <laughs> right hand's always in pretty good shape. <clears throat> How did it feel like going out there and getting that big victory in Madison Square Garden? Uh, it's hard to describe with words how that just felt. Um, training cr camp was perfect. Uh, the whole camp, I felt like I could put him away with punches. I wanted to get that knockout and to go out there and do it in the first round. Uh, just to have a, that dream come true is just a blessing beyond anything I can describe. It's a heck of a day. People have always kind of referred to you as like a dark horse of this division, if you will, you know. Yeah. Uh, do you feel that maybe you've caught some attention from some of the other middleweights now with that uh, performance? No, I think all the middleweights know what they're getting into when I step into the octagon with them. Uh, but definitely knocking on the door of a lot of people again, you know. That's the opportunity I wanted. Uh, you know, when these fights like this come along, you get a, a guy who's ranked, and then obviously you want to keep climbing that ladder, and that's exactly what I want to do. So whoever's in front of me, Whoever's next, I'm, I'm ready for him. Were you surprised how much you were able to connect in that fight? It seemed like every shot you were hitting, it landed. Well, uh, that first punch hurt him. Yeah. I don't know if you guys saw it, but uh, I knew it connected hard. You know, anytime my knuckles get sore after a punch, I know it was a good one. Uh, and they definitely got sore right away. And then I saw the blood running and the look in his eyes. I, I knew I had definitely put myself in a good position early in the fight. Um, and that was just a matter of being patient. I knew my hands were going to be a little bit crisper than his, and I'd be able to land those shots, and that's exactly what I did. And the Barbarian's obviously back. We saw him tonight uh, with that first round knockout. How yeah. much credit uh, does Marcus Davis uh, and his coaching uh, in this camp uh, you know, mean yeah. for you being the Barbarian right now? No, Marcus is uh, an incredible coach. We, you know, we're great friends. We just get along. He understands exactly how to motivate me in training. Uh, in, in all our preparation, even you know, getting ready for you know backstage tonight, you know, you can just look at me and know what I need to do, and you know, put those thoughts in my head that uh, go out there and just be the barbarian because we can't argue with the success of going out there and just smashing people. <clears throat> What's a barbarian post fight meal look like right now? I've been craving pizza all week, and I think I'm in the right city to get a good <laughs> slice of pizza, so I'm gonna try to track that down. Also, uh, post-fight bonus, is that kind of a thought right now to you, like that the performance is bonus-worthy? Uh, yeah, you know, but it's early in the night. There's a lot of, you know, tough guys on this card, so a lot can change. But, uh, yeah, definitely, definitely something to be thinking about. You seem very relaxed right now, obviously, after a win. That helps. What were emotions going into the night? Uh, I've been relaxed all week. It's, it's like I said, the training camp went perfectly. Uh, preparation, my weight cut was perfect. <clears throat> just everything has been going so smoothly that it's hard to be nervous about anything. It just felt like tonight was my night. I truly believe that uh, uh, it was going to go the way that it did, and uh, it's hard for me to get nerved up, you know, with those thoughts in my mind. That's two knockout victories in a row for you now. Do you feel like you've kind of put the division on notice at this point with two impressive wins like that? Yeah, I, I hope so, and uh, I plan on continuing to knock people out as long as it takes. So. Let's see who's next.